backstage here at Pete's Ridge Festival. The bird is where we actually met about 12 years ago now. Um, we started off, so it's one of the loudest, craziest phase of what we do in the world spectrum, but it's, it's definitely the original. <laughs> when I said I want to meet really good musicians in Australia, this is when I originally came here. And there's a documentary on the band that he played in, which was called Pablo Picasso, a percussion band. And that was on television, and I watched it that, and I saw him play on that, and I just went, my god, this guy's incredible. <laughs> well, he'll never play with me, no way. My friends gig, and uh, that's when we met and played. And, we finished rehearsing and stood in the car park talking about music for like five or six hours. Oh. It's just been like that since then. <laughs> well, Bobby's particular um, skill and tradition is on the tabla, which is kind of the main instrument which he plays. I cover many other different facets, so all the way from the standard drum kit to instruments that I make myself. Do a lot of experimenting and building of instruments and um, different drums and percussion, tuned and untuned. But in the circle rhythm, quite commonly we play uh, anything from an Indian bansri to uh, the Dan Moy or the Chums, which are little Vietnamese sort of jute jaws ups and jute ups. And we play gongs and uh, uh, we play a pad, which is like a Punjabi drum, dolls. We're involved in actually a lot of different projects together. We have a duet where we do um, a more quieter Indian based rhythms and Indian based melodies and uh, it's more uh, it's more intricate and more you know very mellow but very um, complex right so the circle of rhythm is another step up from that with Greg it's complex with the three of us but we can change it and play it according to the audience and the word of course is straight drum and bass dance the whole world so we do many many different things too. Bobby particularly plays with a lot of different groups and I'm in a lot of different groups but as drummers and percussionists that tends to be what we do but like living is uh, backing up a lot of people or adding in. <laughs> where we are here in the central coast is where I grew up and I've been playing ever since I was about two years old. I loved drums and percussion and my parents kept encouraging me and it's taken me all over the world and it's what I do for a living so being a white Australian searching for all these beautiful cultures and an input into my into my musical life. I definitely um, kind of uh, received a lot of knowledge from a lot of different places and it's kind of helped me build who I am. And you do a great job of educating the crowd. When the main message that you're aiming to get to your audience. There's a lot of groups and people think percussion groups that think sort of dancing or tribal groups. Or... We've always believed that um, percussion music can be quiet and intricate and melodic and beautiful and from the Indian classical tradition or the Indian percussive tradition of sitting and listening and watching solos being a series of divisions over the pulse rather than just a repetitive groove or a primal cycle that was in a lot of spiritual or sort of you know traditional music. Indians have a more cerebral angle to the music so we do encourage the audience to sit and listen as we share and communicate so that's that's the premise why we talk and explain that because Australian audiences are still kind of getting clued into that and being exposed to that and they dig it so it's yeah great. yeah 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 I teach her I have a few students so see our tradition is very hard you need 25 years to apprenticeship right. so my master lives in Mumbai I've been learning off it since I was seven you know I'm still learning really well off it you know, so it doesn't end yeah. So it's not just, oh, I'll have a few lessons and then that's it. Yeah. So I don't teach like that. If someone comes to learn, they learn properly or not. Perfect. You can make a movie about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this could be the opening scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>